हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय इंजीनियरिंग हब रिजोनेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी वांट टॉक अबाउट लैबरिन सील फिटेड इन अ टर्बो चार्जर दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क इन एमयू क्लास 4 एंड क्लास 2 एंड आई होप बाय गोइंग थ्रू दिस यू कैन लर्न अ लॉट सो बिफोर बिगिनिंग द टॉपिक ऑफ लैबरिन सील आई वांट टेल यू दैट आई हैव मेड वीडियो regarding turbocharger construction turbocharger each and every part i have explained and i have made the whole series you can go and find in my playlist and i will also keep the thing in the description box so let's begin the today video of labyrinth seal so the first question come to our mind that where the labyrinth seal is located so which is basically the labyrinth seal is located in three location in the turbo charger and why it is provided it is provided to prevent gas and air leakage okay so as you know by the term labyrinth seal means basically it is sealing what it what it is sealing means what is the function of this seal basically it is sealing the contamination means the seal is provided to contaminate air or exhaust into the lubrication system so let's see how the seal is designed this seal consists of a series of serration successive serration ensure that the pressure fall sufficiently to prevent leakage so if anybody asks you that what is a labyrinth seal you should say labyrinth seal is a serration successive serration means you can say one serration here two here three here four here so it should be successive serration and what is the advantage means we we are doing the successive serration why basically with the help of successive serration we are reducing we are dropping the pressure of a air or a exhaust gas how it will be clear from here see the air will be coming from here as it is passing through this there will be a change in direction and as there will be change in direction and continue to pass through this miniature section there will be a drop because of the control leakage and hence due to that it will prevent the contamination so labyrinth seal are mainly provided in three section one is in between the compressor and the air side lubrication system here second in between the turbine side and the turbine side lubrication system here and in the self independent lubrication system or self lubrication system in between the compressor and the turbine disc here so if anybody asks you where the labyrinth seal are provided you should say it is provided in three part one seal located between the turbine disc and the gas side okay as i have told you here turbine disc and the gas side this is a, this is the turbine disc is the gas side and this is a oil side in between there okay why located between the turbine disc and the gas side bearing to prevent gas leakage and contaminate bearing lubricant so the main function of the seal is to prevent contamination what contamination is it preventing it depend upon its placement okay so if it is placed in between turbine disc and the lubrication side here it is preventing the contamination of the exhaust gas into the lubrication of the turbine side if it is prevent if it is provided in the air side it is preventing the lubrication of air into the 
air side lubrication system if it is provided in between here the compressor and gas side it is preventing the contamination of exhaust gas into the air so this is how if somebody asks what is the labyrinth seal your answer should be labyrinth seal is a type of a seal which prevent contamination the type of contamination which is prevent will depend upon its placement if it is placed in the gas side it will prevent gas lubrication sorry it will prevent gas contamination to the lubricant if it is provided on the air side it will prevent lubric it will prevent contamination of air into the air lubricant and if it is provided in between it will prevent contamination of gas into the air side it's very clear no i hope now how it is preventing so it is preventing by reducing by control leakage by control leakage it is dropping the air pressure so much that when it is being at the end if suppose here you can take here this suppose suppose the air here is 4 bar okay now let's come here here air is a 4 bar here is the oil we are taking air side for example this is a air lubricant means lubrication system is here gear pump engine is here and impeller is here now the air from impeller is coming here it is suppose 4 bar now as it will pass through here it will be from 4 to here it will be reduced to 2 bar from here to here it will reduce to 1 bar from here to here it will reduce to 0.5 to 0.2 bar so as it is passing it is getting reduced and when it is at the end it is so reduced that it will have no direct effect of contamination okay this you are seeing in this diagram is the auxiliary engine labyrinth seal arrangement okay so here you can see this is the exhaust side and this is the compressor side so as you can see the labyrinth is provided here and here okay and this is a slip type so as i have told you earlier in self lubrication system the labyrinth seal are provided 1 2 3 now we will see in slip type lubrication the labyrinth seal are provided you can see here in this diagram one minute here one and two means basically the labyrinth seal in radial type turbocharger or in auxiliary engine is provided in between compressor and this slip type lubrication here or you can say semi floating type bearing lubrication here and in between turbine discs and the semi floating bearing lubrication in between here so one and two okay so the lubric labyrinth seal arrangement is two in number but in self lubrication system it is three in number so if i anybody asks you you can get a very clear answer because you can see here this will give you a clear picture one is provided here and one is provided here this is the lubrication this is the bearing which you are seeing here this bearing okay this bearing which you are seeing is this to prevent the contamination of air coming from to this bearing labyrinth will be provided here and to prevent contamination of gas to coming to this bearing it will be provided here so this is how labyrinth seal are provided in a turbo charger now this is the replaceable liner one more thing to care this is a replaceable liner means over a period of time it may happen that it may get eroded 
so this distance will increase when the distance will increase the pressure drop will not be so much efficient and the chances of contamination increases sometime you can see by observing the exhaust gas that if whether the contamination is occurring or not and also if the oil consumption has increased if the oil consumption has increased and if your auxiliary engine cranes and everything is fine in that case it may happen the clearance in between the labyrinth has increased and because of that contamination is occurring and hence the lubricant is been taken in more amount and for that reason the lubrication consumption lubal consumption has increased if but it is very hard to find is very hard to find because the amount of oil which get consumed because of this will be minimal unless if your auxiliary side means piston liner everything is fine and clearance is fine then if still the lubrication consumption is increasing it means the clearance in between here has increased and for that reason the consumption has gone up okay so this is how the importance of labyrinth seal can be understood i hope you have got a clear idea of a labyrinth seal if you have any doubt please do comment below and before going i request all of you all of you our colleague of college friends of examination engineers who are going to give the exam i request all of you from all part of the world i am working very hard to make this video presentable to make you to understand please i am doing my part please you do your part please do subscribe and please do share as much as you can just one share that i all request have a good day friend thank you